A few years ago, and I believe this was in 2009, uh, we were given an assignment is as part of my architecture degree. And the assignment was to go and make a film in Brisbane. Uh, so instead of just walking around the city and looking at buildings and talking about buildings in that way, we were tasked with going and seeing uh, the environment, the city as a whole, and shooting a film there. And the film could be about anything, and it could go for about three or four minutes, only a short film. It could have any style presentation we chose, but it had to be set in a very limited space. And it might be hard for you to see, but that space given to us was this strip here, across from Grey Street to North Quay, and each sort of team that we were put on, each little group, was given a, a sliver. So there was a, a team that did this area, a team that did this area, this area, this area, this area. And the t area that we had was between the Queensland Art Gallery and State Library of Queensland, across across the river and there's some highways and there's the uh, very brutalist uh, very beautiful but brutalist uh, Queensland Art Gallery building uh, lots of really interesting environments to shoot in and so uh, we set off to make this short film and one of the things that I did as part of that process is I wrote an original score for it uh, I believe it was the only original score that was submitted as part of the project. Uh, I think there was about a dozen or so groups who submitted films. And our group submitted our film, and it was named Rive Noir, uh, which is classy because it's French. Uh, and it was set across the Black River, and that was the, uh, the goal. And we wanted it to be a bit sinister and a little bit kind of... Uh, you know, showing the sort of dirty underbelly of the city uh, because we did have all these highways and all this sort of heavy infrastructure kind of thing. Uh, lots of public buildings and lots of like interesting spaces uh, in between the buildings. Um, so we set out to make this film and I wrote an original score and that was my contribution to the group. I wrote an original score and I did sound effects, so some foley. Not much of that, but the score I think was pretty interesting. Now, in the last few weeks, I've gone back to search through some old hard drives. I have a stack of 18 old hard drives that are just full of stuff. And we all know how it gets uh, over the years. You do all these projects, you do a project for this person, you do a project for this person, you do it for this reason or that reason. And ultimately, you end up with all this stuff that just ends up everywhere. And it's very difficult to data manage all that sort of stuff. So I've decided, I've resolved to go back through and have a look at some of that again, uh, review it, and maybe rescore some of it. So my first uh, step here was to go to my old hard drive, was to go back to my old hard drive and, uh, and look at what, what I had. Uh, so I have the original film here and I can play that and that's, uh, that still runs. It's only a 720p um, film. It was only, you know, we used what we had. And while we're quite proud of how it looks, it is only 720p and it is a stereo stereo mix, although it does play very nicely on my quadraphonic system that I have here in my room. Uh, and I had at the time when I was mixing it, so it does sound quite nice in a sort of Dolby surround kind of setup. Um, but I do have the original files. I don't have the shots, but I have the, uh, I have the, uh, the final output. Um, what I also have is the GarageBand file because GarageBand was all I had at the time to write music in. Uh, and so on my new iMac now, I still do have GarageBand because everyone has it. Uh, and all of the sounds that I used were, um, were, oh, it's got to do an update now. Look at this. Classic, classic, classic GarageBand. Um, I just used GarageBand because it's what I had. And all of the sounds that I used, all of the samples, all of the sort of tones and things were all already in there should play as it did back in the day um, because they were just stock sounds with stock effects and uh, not much really going on. So when this loads up, I'll play it to you in its original form and then we'll step through my process of first off deconstructing it, deconstructing the composition, reanalyzing it a little bit, uh, and then I'm going to rescore it using new sounds, new samples, new musical skills that I've gained over the last 10 or so years. I don't think 
that um, I'm going to change the score fundamentally. I think I'm going to leave it kind of as it is. Um, I think there's a sort of garage bandy, sort of plasticky, sort of this sounds cheap and easy kind of sound to the mix and to the to the sound. Um, but I think compositionally, I'm quite happy with it. And I've always been quite proud of it, of of going into an architecture class and saying, no, I'm going to write an original score to this film, an original film that we're making, uh, and going that way and thinking, well, this is something that I believe will contribute to the success of the film. Uh, later on, once we all submitted our films, and I remember we had about two weeks to make it, and I only got the final edit the day before it was due, which I assume is quite a common occurrence, and I believe it was due to be submitted at 9am. Uh, before 9am we could do a drop uh, into the office mailbox before 9am and therefore when our lecturer arrived she would have all of the uh, all of the submissions waiting for her at 9am and I remember staying up the night before but I because I remember that it was due on my birthday uh, and I stayed up all night the night before writing this piece of music um, I worked on it for maybe 12 hours uh, after getting the final film edit and then uh, composing and mixing, orchestrating the score. Um, after our submissions were made, we were all given our grades, and then they put on a little film festival where we went to a cinema in the city, and uh, and all of our films were played, all the, uh, and our film was last, and la later on they announced the, uh, the top three, and this film actually came first place. Uh, so a very proud moment for us, unexpected. We thought we'd done a good job, but we had not quite realised uh, just how far ahead of all of the others we were. You know, there was a lot of uh, a lot of stock music used and a lot of just songs people liked uh, as used as background music, or a lot of films with no no backing music at all. It was just um, raw sound effects, raw camera sound, basically. Um, so yeah, quite proud to have submitted a original score for our original film. Here we are. This is the original mix. This is the latest version of Garage Band, I believe. Uh, and we'll just make sure that the sounds work. Um, so there we are. So first off, I'm going to play you the film in its entirety from start to finish, and then we'll come back and, and review. I don't know if, if I've still got the... Uh, I don't know if I've still got the video file in GarageBand. I don't know if that's still there, but I can put it back in.
So we're going to stay in GarageBand for just a little bit. Um, I'm going to work through the tracks and explain what they are, rediscover what they are for myself, um, and then from there we'll take it into Logic Pro. Uh, GarageBand was introduced by Apple as a bit of a stepping stone kind of program to get from, uh, you know, you could use GarageBand f came for free with your Mac, learn how to use it, record some songs, and then when you're ready to step up to the better software, you can just go and uh, pay for that. And then uh, from there, you can import all your old GarageBand projects, import them in, and then you can uh, carry on working on them as though you'd always done them in Logic. So we will test that out a bit later. We'll, we'll uh, import this project in. But for now, we'll stay in GarageBand just so that we can review what's here and see what we've got. And so first up, across the top this first track is the video file that is just the file uh, that I've imported just then because the video file wasn't in the GarageBand project uh, so the audio attached to it is the mixed audio as as it would have been um, so we don't need that anymore um, we can ignore that and we can uh, mute that off this next one down was already muted because this is the original uh, kind of camera audio so it's still there in the edit because when when the footage was edited they just yeah. edit it as it was there's an action um, guy running along there's still his footsteps there um, I didn't use them again they were ignored that was that track was just muted off and then so as these cuts happen there's all sorts of sound effects there's all sorts of background noise uh, that was always ignored because that was always just left uh, left for me um, to ignore at the time. We once again can ignore it and we'll mute that off. Um, down the bottom here is all of our sound effects. So the green ones at the top are all our music and then the bottom ones are the sound effects. This first sound, the uh, the siren, um, it, uh, it's actually my home security system um, with some reverb and some echo. Um, we recorded that and what I find most interesting about this that I'll just point to really quickly is that it's been cut off when I looped it it's not a full loop it's not it's um, so that start it sort of fades in I don't know how to get the automation back up um, on here um, but it takes a jump there uh, and then later on when the when the man runs past I have footsteps so these footsteps are actually my mother walking across the kitchen I had a, uh, a single mic and a, uh, and a little interface at the time and I said hey can you walk from here to there across the kitchen and I just got each footstep and placed them um, a left and a right uh, so she was wearing uh, quite chunky sort of heels at the time um, which gave that nice click sound and then later on um, d just different uh, clips from the same place and I just tried to visually line them up with the steps he was making um, and put I think there's the garage band uh, sort of reverb those same footsteps appear every time someone's walking and we can sort of see their feet um, or see their legs moving um, those footsteps come back um, for the two different characters so there's a bit of that I'm not really a f <laughs> some of the rhythms aren't quite right um, but I just tried to do it visually kind of inaccurately I think in the mix it's sort of far it's okay um, you can see that there you can hear that there are footsteps I think these were my least favorite at the time and then here where he's walking quite slowly and it's only a shadow you can't see him but you can hear him and we're used to that sound already and they're the last ones in the film um, I really like those I don't think I did a great job and that's not really my area of expertise at all but uh, they are in there the other sound effect that is in there is this one um, where I believe on a rainy day I stuck the microphone out the window uh, and then just let it um, let it let it record and the pan changes from this side to that side when the cut happens from this angle to that angle the sound changes with the pans left to right uh, based on based on the position of the of 
the camera the angle and then here where it cuts pans again to the center so it's by the river it's set by the river there's all sort of noises and traffic and then when the fade happens it fades in and out um, that is what it is and then here as well one called uh, street traffic which again I think is just out the window of, of my house back then when I passed on the bus uh, wasn't a particularly scientific kind of recording at all it was just let's stick a mic out the window and record traffic um, and there's some fades and things in there as well um, so that's what it is for sound effects there's another track here called city traffic one that is being muted in the original thing so I mustn't have used it what's that it's the same thing but just slightly different whatever same same thing call it the same uh, this one called no effects I don't know what it is so that's related to oh that's I think that's me playing the guitar is it quite possibly or playing the keyboard anyhow I wonder why that wasn't used anyway so musically we start here with the strings um, so it's quite a big bowed string sound um, at the time I was playing double bass in the local community orchestra so it makes sense that I would have gone for big strings um, so they're just they're just holding that note I think at the start there was the extra note and then that um, I believe and it's been a while since I've looked I believe that's a C minor um, no it's a C sharp minor because it's in the key of E the whole thing is in the key of E E2 and then E major um, but with the minor C sharp at the top at the sixth so that's what I've done there <laughs> um, and then below that this character the uh, the man in the hat I guess he's like an investigator type he was the he's the antagonist but he's probably the good guy uh, because this guy the thief he's running along and he's got something that he's stolen under his arm and he's trying to escape uh, so this man the the cop or the investigator he gets this this rhythmic da -da 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 kind of sound and it's just one of the garage band sounds called Metropolis uh, I don't really know what it's made out of um, but basically he all his sounds are this C sharp so all of the good guys the the good guy our uh, our thief who we who we kind of sympathize with because he's the first one we see and we're you know we're hoping he's going to get away he gets the major chords and then this guy the investigator with the hat he gets the minor version of the same thing so it goes from the E major uh, scale to the C sharp minor scale so it's the same scale um, one's major and one's minor so he gets he gets the C sharp but then the um, the thief he gets the he gets the major uh, this one here angelic organ uh, just like a pad underneath it's got a little bit maybe distortion on it it's quite nice we'll come back to that so then later on uh, we get so the sirens there as well um, this horn um, carries the theme so that's that's going to be a low E I believe yes and then the uh, the strings come in with a rhythmic sort of thing And then this stepping down is the main theme of the of the piece. Um, so my understanding is it's just it's just walking down. Um, it has that kind of th three four or six eight kind of feel to it. Um, and and so uh, basically that is the, uh, the the main theme. And it's a sort of got that 3-4 kind of triplet sort of feel um, it's still in 4-4 I don't believe at the time I knew how to change the tempo in garage band to actually um, or change the key signature or uh, change the time signature or the key signature or any of those things um, I think I just kind of used it as is and so the rhythm is a little bit wonky in some places um, but that's the main theme 
and then so when we see our friend the investigator come in the thieves run away and we get the investigator back we get this uh, metropolis synth again um so it's just a pad and it's a um you know c sharp minor kind of pad um again stepping down it's got the same kind of shape to it um but it's mainly the ry- the rhythm and the rhythmicness of the um of that particular sound that gives it its identity um the organ comes back in angelic organ so it's right underneath um so he's investigating and he's looking for clues or whatever um and so that's just kind of there it's got that sort of minor tonality to it so it feels a bit kind of awkward um but i think it works and then later on the next cut where he's looking out over the river um you get these extra notes above as well um and again that's kind of disheart disharmonic or um dissonant it's kind of dissonant but you maybe don't notice it because of the rhythm and because of the the way that um the pad is working um and then when it cuts very quickly back to the uh the thief running away you get his little theme again um ah oh, and the shaker so the shaker is meant to represent i guess his his um his, the intensity of his motion so that always appears when he's running cut to the next scene um where he's really making a run for it you get his theme again and you get the um the orchestra pads the horns everything it's much bigger than before because we can we now know the stakes are higher for the third act of the film i guess um you get this which is reintroducing that sort of triplet kind of three feel so it's very similar musically it's in the minor sort of tonality um and then it's this point as well we also get the the pad back doing the same thing so it gets the same rhythm but um because it's a pad it doesn't really appear as much but combined it works quite well so he's hiding out up here it's hard to see him he's up there and then when we see that he's hiding out up there we get the uh the horn it's all very tense we get the silhouette and it's even slower and then it picks up again so it's the slower version but with the higher pace again double speed still the triplet thing and then right at the end we get the big reveal he's been above you the whole time fade out and then at the end for the credits uh only get credited for sound not sound and music unfortunately that's how we had agreed at the time um we just get that sort of pad sound and the uh the organ again so after listening to this i'm pretty convinced that everything is in place and where it should be and there are no kind of missing things so what we're going to do and i've never done this before is we're going to save this and i'm going to try uh and open it with uh logic pro x so let's see what happens really don't know what's going to happen here uh this is going to be a bit of fun so here we are that looks pretty much as it should um it's almost exactly the same we've got the video clip here in the corner um that'll just have to do uh and then we've got the um all of the sounds here so if we play that back we clip that out it is exactly as it should be so that was quite easy thank you very much for watching please join me again very soon we'll do the next stage where we'll deconstruct all of the sounds that are in there and we'll rebuild this score in a newer modern way one of those for the algorithm and we will be back soon to keep working on this project and see where we can take it uh in a newer more modern way thanks for watching <laughs>